So now we're going to go over ratio tables and kind of what this looks like if you have a ratio and you're um, finding out the equivalents. So one can of frozen orange juice concentrate is mixed with three cans of water to make one batch of orange juice. So you have this, this, this thing of orange juice that you have to mix with water to make orange juice. So the question is, how many cans of juice and how many cans of water would you need to make two batches of orange juice? So if I was going to make two batches, I would need two of these and how many of these? I need six of these to equal two. If I was going to do three batches, I need three of these. Three times three is nine of these and that makes three batches. And find the ratio in simplest form of juice to water needed for one to two to three batches. So one batch juice to water is one to three. Two batches is two to six. And three batches is three to nine. And all of these would simplify to one to three. Okay, so they are equivalent. So you're making the same amount, you're just making it double or triple times. So because our juice to water ratios were the same, they are called equivalent ratios. They express the same relationship between the two quantities. To find equivalent ratios, you can use the ratio table. Ratio tables have columns that are filled with pairs of numbers that have the same ratio. So here it is, just put in table form. If you have one can of juice, you have three cans of water. Two cans of juice, six cans of water. Three cans of juice, three, it's nine cans of water. So from here to here is times three. From here to here is times three. From here to here is times three. So if we continued this, if we said how many cans, uh, if we had five cans, how many cans of water would we need? It's times four. 3, and it would be 15. So we can continue this out. And they're all equivalent. They all simplify to 1 to 3. So to make yellow icing, 6 drops of yellow are added to 1 cup of white icing. Use the ratio table to find out how many yellow to add to 5 cups of white icing. So if I have 1 cup of icing, it's 6 drops of yellow. If I have 2 cups, it would be 12, and if I have 3, it would be 18, and if I have 4, it, it would be 24, and if I have 5, it would be 30. I'm adding 6 each time, but if I look at the relationship, it's times 6, times 6, times 6, times 6. So my ratio is 1 to 6, so to get from 1 to 6, it's times 6. So you can find the pattern or find the scale factor. I can look at the pattern here. I'm going up by one in each of these. I'm going up by six in each of these. That's looking at the pattern. Or I can say, how do I get from one to six? It's times six. So the first thing you're going to want to do is label your table. A patient receives one liter of IV fluids every eight hours. So, um, Liters and hours. So one liter in eight hours. And you want to find out how long it will take to receive four liters. So two would take how much time? 16. And three would take eight more. So um, that's 24. And 4 would take 8 more, so 32. And I can also look at scale factor. Times 8, times 8, times 8, times 8. I can look at the pattern. 8, 16, 24, 32. I'm skip counting. I'm counting up by 1 here, but by 8 here. So go ahead and make a table and do this problem. A recipe calls for 5 cups of water for each cup of pinto beans. Use the ratio table to find out how many cups of water should be used for four cups of pinto beans. So you need to label it. You need to um, make the chart 
and find out what the answer is. chart didn't start by looking like this, you need to make sure it looks like this and then continue. Okay, you can also divide each quantity by a ratio, in a ratio by the same number of, of um, to produce the equivalent ratio involving smaller quantities. And it says in 2004, Takuria Kabaushi won a hot dog eating contest by eating nearly 54 hot dogs. So hot dogs, 54, in 12 minutes. So if he ate in a constant rate, use the ratio table to determine about how many hot dogs he ate every two minutes. So if it's two minutes, how do you get from 12 to two? Um, you divide by 6, right? So you would divide 54 by 6, and you get 9. So he eats 9 for every 2 minutes. Now you could have filled in this box in here by dividing by 2, and, um, and then dividing by 3, or you can just divide by 6. So go ahead and do this problem in your notes. To make cranberry jam, you need 12 cups of sugar for every 16 cups of cranberries. Use the ratio table to find the amount of sugar needed for four cups of cranberries. So you're going down, and so you're going to be dividing by, and um, fill in the chart and, 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 and make sure that you have the right answer. So this is filled in. I'm comparing sugar to cranberries. I've got 12 to 16. Now I can take this down by dividing by 2. And then I can take this down further by dividing by 2. And I would get 3 fourths. So it would take 3 cups of sugar if I had 4 cups of cranberries. Sometimes you have to scale back and then scale forward. And this is always a challenge. Um, you write down what you're comparing again, cans of corn are on sale, so corn to money, 10 cans for $4. Find out how much it costs for 15 cans. Well, there's nothing I can do to go from 10 to 15. So I've got to simplify before I can multiply. So if I simplify, divide by um, 2, I get 5, and divide by 2, I get 2. Now, can I go from 5 to 15? It's by 3. And I can go 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so the answer is $6 for 15 cans. And see if you can do this one. It's a challenge, but um, make sure that you simplify and then go up. Um, a butterfly's wingspan measures 105 centimeters. If 25 centimeters is about 10 inches, use the ratio table to estimate the wingspan in inches. So a little bit more challenging. Try to set it up on the table and see how you do. So I set it up centimeters to inches. 25 centimeters equals 10 inches approximately and I want to go to 105 centimeters. So I'm going to divide by 5 and divide by 5 and then I'm here and I'm going to multiply by 21 and multiply by 21. 2 times 21 is 42. Okay, on her vacation, last problem. On her vacation, Leah exchanged $50 American and received $90 Canadian. Use a ratio table to find out how many Canadian dollars she would receive for $20 American. So um, make your ratio table, um, simplify, then multiply, and find out the equivalent.